Hello, this is CG Animator, and today I'm just going to make a really quick, not too long tutorial about render sending, settings and how to make your renders still look pretty much the same and be really quick. I'm going to show you what it takes normally. It takes a little bit slower on my 3.69 seconds to render a basic cube. Now, there's a couple tricks you can do, like if you don't need oversampling which pretty much like re-renders it a couple times or something. I'm not exactly sure how that works. You turn that off, you turn it to five or something. It's pretty much the same, like 0.5 half a second less. But if you turn this right here, gauze over the box, maybe turn the resolution to 64, doesn't do too much to it. And turn ray tracing off, which is Ray transparency, like if you wanted to do glass, I like 0.6 for glass. Turn the alpha down, and you see it's like glass, but the only problem with that is it takes long. Like, oh, I guess I turned it off or something. Yeah, I turned it off. Hold on. It takes a, quite a while, and you know, it's not worth it. Well, my computer is acting up a little bit, but if you if you don't use that, there's not really a point in having it. Environment map rendering not really necessary. Subsurface scattering is this right here. You can pretty much have custom materials here, and it'll look better, but it just takes a long time. And for me, I don't have that strong of a computer. So that's not really an option. Shadow. If you don't have any objects underneath it or if you just don't want a shadow, you just turn that off. And the last thing is you press, well, right now it's on, I think it's on PC. And size X is 640 and the size Y is 480. So if you change that to NTSC, you can change the 720 to 480. And it slows down a lot like if I, it only took 0.64 seconds and it's great if you do stuff like this which is tutorials and stuff there's a bunch of other little things you can change you know a bunch of stuff and, you know that's pretty much all there is to that you know you can do whatever you want in terms of settings but that's a, the best way that I find for my computer and my settings because I don't have that strong of a computer that's pretty good and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And, well, this has been another CG Animator tutorial. Keep rating, subscribing, commenting, and all that stuff. And if you have any questions, comment or message me. Thanks for watching.